the Storm Team Weather Lab. KMAC meteorologist Shelby Mack. We are halfway through the work week and dry conditions are going to continue to take over across the state as we go into the rest of the day. And this is actually great news for Dallas and the eastern portions of the state because they had so much of that flooding, giving them a little bit of a break. And it looks like that system did intensify as it made its way across the region, allowing for Louisiana to see some more of that flooding and even into Mississippi. So our counties in Texas that are still seeing these flood watches are going to expire tonight by 7 p.m. and then into Mississippi, they'll expire by 1 a.m. tomorrow. We're also looking at this lime green color because this is flood warnings and that's closer to Corpus Christi. That'll last until about 1030 tonight because there is rain still making its way across the southern portions of the Lone Star State. However, locally, we're staying dry. We're going to continue to stay dry as we go into the rest of our work week. Not always the best news, but hey, the good news is rain comes back in as we go into our weekend. Now, these clouds will continue to push in as we go into the rest of the day. Can't see them yet over the KMAX studio, but they are going to continue to take over the skies, and it's mostly going to be those thin cirrus clouds as we see a little bit more moisture in our mid-levels. Now, I know dew points are high. This usually means that rain chance. Again, this is because we are seeing so much moisture in our mid-levels and that means rain will start to push in to the rolling plains. We're just barely missing it, but where we're not missing is another chilly morning. So if you were cool yesterday as you headed out the door, you're still going to want to grab that same jacket as we're close to the upper 50s in Friona, Muleshoe, Dimmit, Tulia, and Plainview, 64 in Lubbock and O'Donnell, 65 in Post, and 68 in Snyder and Matador for our warmer spots. So it's still pretty chilly out there. Now as we go into the rest of our morning, that sun doesn't come up until about 717. That's when sun rises. And then our first light is at 651. So as you're getting the kids ready for school, getting breakfast, going. It's still going to be cool. They're also going to need a jacket as they head out the door and we'll still be only in the upper 60s through the mid morning. But lunchtime rolls around. Clouds are still coming through, but we'll be in the upper 70s. So a very slow warm up. And then as we go into our afternoon hours, that's when we are going to start to see that rain chance picking up in the rolling plains again. We're going to be missing out on this, but what we're not missing out on is these clouds breaking up as we go into our evening, allowing for us to make it into the lower to mid 80s. This easterly breeze continuing to push in, bringing in a little bit more of that warm air. And each day this week, we'll be warming up by just a couple of degrees, and that rain chance slides back in by our Saturday night. And temperatures will be much more seasonal by the weekend as well. And with this rain, doesn't look like it'll be dropping our temperatures down too much, but it will be lasting into the beginning of next week. And then by Tuesday, that's when we'll return to the lower, the upper 80s. Overall, though, going to be a really nice week because we get a little taste of everything, especially with that sunshine taking over by tomorrow, Jen. Yeah, it's going to be great. And this time next week, we're going to be talking about football forecasts. Ooh, Can you believe that? I'm so excited. I love the weather is in on the fact that football's coming. It feels yeah. like football weather now. It's perfect. And those poor football players are not going to be as drenched when they get out on the field. How That's nice pretty is great. that? Yeah.